So let's uh, expand our horizons a little bit. We know how to compute the probability an observation is below. But, uh, okay, so, but this means we can find the probability an observation is above a given value because the proportion above is one minus proportion below, or probability above is one minus probability below. In the picture that says, uh, if I want the area here and I have the area down there, these two add to be one. So this area here is one minus that area there. So I'm going to do one minus. And in addition, if you want to find the area between y and x when y is bigger than x, so this picture here, the proportion less than y minus the proportion less than x is the proportion, uh, the proportion, okay, that's equal to the proportion that, proportion between y and x, there we go. So you take the proportion less than y, and you take the proportion less than x, which you look up in the tables. You take the bigger number here and subtract off the smaller number here, and that'll give the amount that's left over in between. So we'll try those two things using our normal mean 100 standard deviation 12. What's the probability x is above 90? So we already did that, but I'm just going to use the z values just for fun. So uh, I'm going to look up, sorry, I'm going to look up minus uh, 0.83 which we did, 2033, three. so I'll get 1 minus 0.2033, okay, and that's a 7967, I'll double check that, 1 minus 0.2033, 7967, three. Seven, you'll be subtracting things from 1 many times, and then with 90 and 75, so it'll be like uh, 75 is here and 90 is there. So uh, 90 is to the right. So we're going to look up at the area left of point eight, negative 0.83. Oh, we have that already. Uh, 0 0.2033. And minus 2.08. 2.08. It's way over here. Now it's dark in here. I've got this though, just in case. Minus 2.08, really? Difficult, minus 2.08 is over there. 0, 0.188, it's so dark. I should turn the lights on, but I'm not doing it. Uh, 0, 0.188, 0, I should hold this up like this so I can actually see it. It's not really working. Okay. And then what it says is you take the big area and subtract off the small area. So we take 0 0.2033 and subtract off 0 0.0188. So we're thinking this. We're over here in one case and we're like here in the other case. We find these areas left. This area is 0 0.2033. This is 0 0.0188. And so what's in between will be this quantity here. And so we take point uh, 2033 and subtract out point 0.0188. Point 1845. So above is 1 minus. And between, as you take the area the two areas, and you take the large one and subtract off the small area, even if it always work out that way. So the area between two, big area minus small area, big area minus small area gives the area in between. All right, did that.